concertina reel. Um, different little bits of ornamentation. I was doing a long roll in the second part. Yes, doing a long roll on the English concertina. I'll show you what I was doing. Those people that can, can't say that say a long roll can't be done, I've just done it. And what I did was I was cutting the D with an E and then it's C sharp. And sometimes, at, towards the end, I did a trill, which is um, the same kind of rhythm, but just, um, in this case, it's just using one note, and I just used the E. So, I did that phrase, long roll, and I did um, a trill. At the beginning, I sometimes did a grace note before the A on the first bar, just one single grace note on occasions, which was a B. Sometimes I did two, like this. But I used two different fingers, middle and ring. Short, long. Okay, using different fingers. I sometimes did a triplet there. And sometimes on the second part, instead of always doing a long roll or a trill, long roll, trill, I sometimes did a double stop. That's an A and a D in the right hand. And then I added my D note above it on the left hand side. Using alternating fingers. Index and middle. I held the low D on like that. Just a few ideas on how you can ornament an easy reel like the concertina reel. Um, so there we are, there was a long roll, there were trills, there were double grace notes and single grace notes. The double grace note I was using was actually a note of the same pitch, but it was in fact a double grace note under doing it short long. That's a single grace note. Here's a double grace note. Right? So that's the concertina reel. That tune's um, in my concertina tutor, www.dickmiles.com, um, Concise English Concertina Tutor. So uh, hopefully there's a few ideas for beginners. What I would say is don't slavishly copy any one particular style, but try and develop your own style. But use these ideas as a stepping stone. Okay, I hope that helps. Concertina Reel by Dick Miles, tutor at www.dickmiles.com.